Good day, everybody. I hope you're fine. So today we'll be doing question six. We are still finishing this paper, the May June 2023 paper two formats. So now it is the trick functions, the trick graphs. In the diagram below, the graph of f of x. Remember what I said. F of x is the same as what s y, right? It is equal to tan, and then x minus 45 degrees. So when I see this thing, it simply means what the tan graph has an amplitude of 1 and then at the same time as when i'm saying it is 1 it means that it was not shifted up or down and then as i can see here the period at the same time it is it was not changed but this x minus 45 it is basically telling me that the graph was shifted 45 degrees to the right or 45 units to the right as you can see this what 45 degrees so it was shifted to the right that's why now it is not crossing at zero but crossing away at 45 degrees when you see x minus no it is to the right ne? it was shifted to the right x plus shifted to the left and it is drawn for element of a uh, whereby it is between negative 90 and 180 it starts here and then ends there you see so now let's go to questions they are saying write down the period of f right so now what you just have to know you don't have to worry the period of the tan graph it is not changing so the period it is what 180 degrees it doesn't change each and every time the period for a tan graph it is 180 now the question question number two says draw the graph of g of x which is equals to negative cos 2x. You see what? You see now it is what? Negative. So it means Uti, you will have to do it on the side of a paper. You're going to do it. Check and confirm your things. But I want you to remember this thing, guys. You have to know the parent graph. I need to know Uti, cos. The graph of cos looks like something like this. Right? This is the parent graph, of course. It looks like this. It crosses at 1. It is maximum at 1 for both sides. And then here it is what? The, those intervals there. So now since they are saying it is negative, so it will have to look like, like this. You see? Now it, will, it has to start where? Below. It has to cross here at minus 1. Because at the same time, I was given that the amplitude it is at the same. It is what? It is 1. Because they didn't say negative 2 or what, what. It is still 1. But what? It is what? 2x. It means what means the period. It, it is what? Uh, divided by 2. I need the period for cos it is 360. So now it was divided by 2. So now, you will check other videos on how to sketch, sketch these things. Just I think grade 12, you are not taught how to... You are not taught this trick function. So now, this is how my graph will be. I need to know the original graph, the parent graph crosses where at 90. But now it is what? Cos 2x. So no, now it is going to cross where at 45. So let me start here. I'm going to do what? Go here. Make a point here. Make a point at minus 1. And make a point there at what? 90 there. So let me just do my asymptote. Asymptote. So that I can know what I'm going to do. This thing is going to help you on how to sketch. See? And then now let's continue. I'm going to go again at 45. Because of this 2. If it was not 2, it was going to move from negative 1 to 90. You see? 45 there. And then go away to my 90. And then go away to my 135. Eh? And then go away to my 180. So at the same time, I have what? The, the asymptote there below. The graph there so it will be just um what here it will be just here then that's how my graph will look like so when i'm gonna join my thing see the graph of f it's gonna look like something like this i need to they set on the same set of x so I'm, um i want to try to make it make sense you see it is not like this, you see. 
So now it was negative. So when it is negative, it is gonna cross here at minus one. Then it crosses at forty-five. Eh? I mean, to, like you know, I'm not just that. Yeah, it will look something like this, guys. You know, just like that. Yeah. It has to not not this one. It has to cross like this, and then go up there. But the main thing is that I've managed to identify my curves and everything. Okay, so now let's go to the next question. Now, uh, the range of G. Now, when they are saying the range, you know what? When they are talking about the range, it is what set of y values. So now let's check the graph of G. Here is my graph of G. It is like this. So when it is like that, you are gonna check. The y values only, but what I, what I can see is this what it is starting at minus one going to one. So this is what's gonna be minus one less than or equals to y less than or equals to one. So the value of the values the value of y it is between minus one and one. Okay, just like that. And then let's go to the next question. The graph of g is shifted 45 units to the left to form the graph of h. Determine the equation of h. So now, this is how you're gonna kill it. Is what six point four? Okay. Let me show you, because they were it was shifted for five units to the right. Is it to the right? Yes, I think so. Okay. So now check. I need to know what the graph of what of g of x. It is equals to negative cos two x, right? So now this is how you're gonna do it. You are simply gonna write and it's now they want the what the, the, the graph of h of x. So you are simply gonna say h of x it is equals to and then you're gonna say what negative cos but do what open the full the big bracket then you're gonna say these two that you are given then x minus 45 degrees because they said 45 units to the right okay you're gonna to the left so you're gonna add here because they said 45 units to the left so when they said shifted to the left you add shifted to the right you subtract and you, you remember those uh the, the main e equation of your course you have something like um a cos b then you have what theta plus p then plus q i think this is the correct formula so this theta lana fx this p it is what two you see this p it is what 45 you see then now let's continue it's gonna be what negative cos so let me open that one out so i have what two times x two x two times 45 plus 90 but you know that cos and 90 are now trick core ratios it's gonna change now so what is it gonna be negative open bracket but remember Cos theta plus 90, it is what? Negative. So sine what? 2x. Right? And then it's going to be what? Positive sine 2x. So this one will be what? My new equation of what? Of h of x. You see? Follow that order. It's very important. Now, let's finish it off now. Um, Now, they are saying what? Use the graphs. You see graph or graphs. To determine the values of x in the interval between negative 90 and 90. You see? So now when they are saying in the interval, it means we are going to stop here. We are not going to check that part, but we are going to focus between negative 90 and 90. So we are going to check those parts only. The, the, those parts of the graph. Right? So now let's continue. Um, now they are saying what? F of x greater than 1. So it means you have your graph of f. Uh, I get it. I told you f of x is the same as y, but the reason why they are saying f of x, g of x, they are just trying to label the graph so that maybe you have three graphs on the same set of x's. Now you know what? Okay, f of x is this one, g of x is that one, and stuff and stuff. So now they are being specific. So f of x. So now I know that it is what the tan graph. It is greater than one. So now I want you to check something here. As you can see, the graph it is greater than than one here. As you can see, it is going up. Ne? So already I have my first value, which is what? Negative 90. I know that this one will be less than x. Then now, let me check another value where it is greater than 1. Because this, they want the values of x only. Now, let's come here. 
they set between negative 90 and 90. Now let's come here. As you can see, this graph here, it is what? Greater than 1. It is increasing now. This one, it is, this part here, it, it has already increased. So, Mara, we are now checking the, the, the points. So it is what? Greater than 1. So, as I can see here, this is what? The point that I'm talking about. So, let's check it. Is this one correct or is wrong? Let's check here. So, now this one is 0. So, it is not greater than 1. Yeah, it is not greater than one. Let's check another point. Because you are not supposed to look at that other point, right? So now, it means what is the answer has to be what? Negative 45 at the same time. Okay? And then, two, whereby it is what? 2 cos 2x minus 1. So, as, as you can see, this is what? An identity. So now, we still have a lot of work to do there. So now, the one the values of x so by 2 cos 2x minus 1 is greater than 0. So now, I'm going to show you how to do it. Okay? Now, I prefer, I can do general solution there. Uh, or another way. So now, let me check and try the general solution method. Okay? Or, there's another way at the same time by solving for this thing by saying, 2 cos 2x it is greater than 1 then you divide both sides by 2 it will be what? cos 2x is it greater than 1 over 2 and then remember now since you have this thing this theta here you need to solve for what? for these values because they want the values of x so you have to find what the theta is there okay and check it uh, using the graph at the same time. So from what I can see here, um, if I, it happens that I'll have to change this cos 2x to be cos squared x, whatever, 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 it will be the waste of time. Now, check what I'm going to do here. Okay, let's continue. Let me find this thing. So it's going to be what? 2x is cos 2, a cos 1 over 2. Then what do I have? It is equals to 60 degrees. So, when I'm going to put it in order, it is going to be what? I can continue here. Let me just write on a clean paper. Just that I don't want to confuse you. So, 6.5.2. I was given 2 cos 2x minus 1 greater than 0. But then I'm going to solve it metapentically. It was what? Cos 2x greater than 1 over 2. Then now, let me find the general solution, as I've told you. So, do what? 2x, um, what? It has to be, what? I have to find the, the reference angle there. So, it is equal to what? Um, let me do this. Reference angle, it is equal to cos negative 1, up cos 1 over 2, which gives me, what? 60 degrees. So, this is what? My reference angle. Yet. And now since since I have my reference angle as what 60, remember I still have what my theta is 2x. So it will be what 2x is cos 2 plus minus 60 degrees. Remember it is what cos so I can do plus minus plus k 360 degrees. Right? And then let's solve for x. So divide both sides everything by 2. It will be x, it is cos 2 plus minus 30 degrees plus k. 180 degrees part k element of that that uh, k element of z numbers then therefore i can see the values of x it is what negative 30 degrees and what 30 degrees get your four marks full four marks you can use general solution as long as it is still trigonometry you see so that's how it is guys thanks